So a lot of people have been asking down in the comment sections, hey, how do we get better microphone hiding techniques? And we're gonna do a lot more videos on that, but today I wanna talk about what I actually carry with me when I go out onto a shoot. I keep this thing full at any given moment. You never know when you're gonna get a phone call. So the last thing you wanna do is always scramble for expendables the day before your shoot. It's good to always have this always prepped out and ready to go, and a lot of the stuff you can do in your spare time. So the first thing I wanna talk about are lavalier concealers. Uh, I've got two different kinds. This one's for a six millimeter lavalier, like the W-Lav or an ME2, and this is actually a four millimeter concealer, and these are actually just rubberized kind of concealers, real nice and slick kind of material you can put up underneath clothing and such, and they're really nice for kind of making sure the weight of the fabric is kind of held in place and doesn't kind of make your lavalier sound all scratchy and everything. Foam windscreens, that kind of stuff is really, really nice to have. You can never have enough of these. I buy them by a bag. The best place to get them, if you really wanna know, eBay. I buy these, again, in massive bulk. Uh, I got like a drawer that I keep everything in, but what's in my tote is just enough to get me through a couple of days worth of shooting. I've got my Ursa Foamies. You can also buy Hush Lobs. These are great. You can also do the DIY version that we did in past videos, but I keep them in my tote. Double-sided sticky tape. Of course, I use Super Stick. This stuff is crazy sticky. Uh, it also has a nice little fold in the middle. What that means is I can actually do nice quick applications. If I've got a shirt that's rustling a lot, I, what I may have to do, especially if it's a button down, I can actually seal them back up. You can also use this if you need to do something with like a concealer. And you can use one of these concealers and put a little super stick right on the backside and put that up underneath the shirt. You'll notice I keep it in the half inch variety. I don't use the full inch. Uh, I just like this a lot more. It's a lot less wasteful at the end of the day. Little piece of fur. I love this stuff. You see I've got a couple of pieces in white. This is great for actually wind protection. Also on a lavalier if you've got to have it exposed for some odd reason. You can actually put it on the inside of the shirt and this will actually help prevent like friction going back and forth when something kind of moves against your chest. I've also got two different kinds of moleskin. I've got it in the black and I've got it in the beige. The beige is much more popular. I probably go through it a lot more than the black. The black, I really only use on really heavy, dark fabrics. On most lighter fabrics, the beige works probably significantly better. What I really like about this stuff is I buy it by the foot. You'll notice I cut them into my own little squares. I don't buy the pre-cuts, I don't buy the dots. When I'm watching television, what am I doing? I'm, you know, I'm actually sitting here, I'm cutting moleskin. And I can save myself some money and hassle and I can prep for shoots by sitting there and actually you know, pre-cutting some squares for my moleskin. Of course, I've got my elastic bandage. We talk about this in some past videos. Really, really like this stuff. The really nice straps that I have, the Ursa straps, my Neopack straps, all those kind of straps that I own, I put that in another case. They're reusable. My elastic strap, that's an expendable, so it goes in the expendable case. So I've also got some right coat covers. I've got all three colors, white, gray, and black. Gray one, honestly, is the one I use probably the most because at the end of the day, white one's really only good for white fabric and the black one can only really be used on heavy, dark fabric. You'll notice they're not all the same size because some are the official ones and some are ones I've actually cut out of the leftover material that comes in the package. So there's an official one. There's one that I've cut based on these scraps and the leftovers that were on the sheet. So like when you pop all them all out, you look at it and you're like, oh, I can use more of this. So again, I took my scissors and while I'm watching television, I cut extra. And at the end of the day, the lavalier doesn't know if it's an official, you know, right coat cover or if it's one that you've cut out of the leftover material from the right coat. I also have my Ursa little, you know, covers, my dots. I've also got Ursa tape. This comes in white. I've never found moleskin that comes in white, so Ursa tape is really, really nice. I've got my super stickets, little dots that I love. I love these things. These are crazy sticky, but I've also got my right coat stickies. I use them for different kinds of materials, different kinds of fabrics, and all I need to do is take my little lavalier concealer place it on top of the dot, and boom, I've got it all set up and done, and it's held right in the place, and it stays all day. My point source audio earpiece. What this does is I can actually put a lavalier up here and hide it right behind the ear. What they've done is really made it simple. You just run the wire in, and it just puts the lavalier right on the tip, 
and then you can actually mount this up. And there's a little bitty like armature wire that allows me to kind of mold this to however I need to hook it onto someone's ear. They're expendables, even though they're not exactly cheap. You have little notches in here that you can cut, and that's to customize it to someone's ear. And there you have it, what I actually use in my real expendables kit on a job. Okay, that's it. So what we need to know from you guys though is what we should make our next videos about. Leave a comment below and tell us. The best comment is gonna win the VMic D3 Pro. Don't forget, hit follow, like, and subscribe on all the social media platforms. I'm Andrew from DD Microphones. Thank you for watching.